University of Alberta now has an iPhone application built by students to assist students, professors, academics, and everyone else on campus with a daily business. This application can be downloaded from the App Store by searching U Alberta. So if we go to go into the app, we'll start off by looking at the maps. Now the maps can be viewed in the default view as you see here as a satellite or a hybrid image. Now you can use a search function at the top of the screen to find anything you'd like on campus. So if we type in the administration building, we can see where it's located on the map itself. And if you click on the arrow, you can get all the information about the history, the phone number, address, and a picture of how it actually looks. If you'd like to add it to the bookmarks, you can click on the star in the corner and add to bookmarks. And that actually saves the location within the bookmarks tab. Now by clicking on the triangle in the lower right hand corner, you can specify what you'd like to see on the map. So right now we can see all the buildings. If we click on ETS, we can see all the ETS bus stops. If we go back and click on food, we can see all the places on campus to offer food. If we click on parking, we can see where the parking lots are. And again, if we click on accessibility, the handicap accessibility is on campus, whether that be ramps or powered doors. Now, have you ever been on campus and have no idea where you're going? I think at some point in time, everybody has wound up in the wrong classroom or lecture theater. So in the top right hand corner, if you click on the directions, and for example, say we park our car in Windsor Car Park. So we start typing in Windsor Car Park. And our first class could be in the computing science building. So we're typing in computing science and click on start. And what it actually does, it maps out your starting location and your finishing location and that's the route that you could take to actually get to your first class. Now lastly there's a little compass feature in the lower left hand corner. You can click on that and it actually locates you on the map itself. Now if we let go back and take a look at the transit feature, you can see my most viewed LRT stations and transit bus stops. In the bus stops tab you can see all the bus stops around the University of Alberta. If you click on one, again, you can see the bus stop number at the top and the buses that go by that bus stop and the times that they go by. If we go to the LRT stations, we can also see the same. So if we go down to the university station, the southbound LRTs are coming at, well down, you can see that the northbound trains are coming. Now if you go into my stops, you can actually add in your common stops that you use. So for example, I've already have in here a work bus stop. Now if we add in, add in another bus stop, we can add that in. I'm going to label this one as home. And we'll give this bus stop number 2548. Add that in. And that's now my home bus stop. Now if you'd like to delete anything, you click on the edit button again, hit delete a bus stop, and you can at your whim, you can go ahead and delete the bus stop. We'll take a look at the agenda feature now. Now you can flip through the pages by clicking on the left and right buttons at the top to go back and forth. If you'd like to add in a new task at hand, you can click on the plus sign in the corner. The only two fields that are required are the name and the due date. So if we add in an assignment here, assignment and the due date to be today, um, 12 o'clock. You can also add in an alert to alert us 15 minutes before click on done, and that's added in. The one other thing you can do is you can actually edit it. So if you edit the task, we can also add in a category. Now there are a few categories already there. My task, assignment, study, meeting, readings, quizzes, midterms, final, and miscellaneous. Um, we can also go in and add one. So if I want to add one and map, go ahead and add that in. And we can actually add this one so that I know that it's my math assignment. Now by clicking on the friends task here, you can see the tasks that your friends have shared with you if you have access to them. If you'd like to receive tasks from your friends, you can click on the receive button here and you'll be prompted to bump your iPhones together to receive their tasks. If you actually want to share tasks with a friend, you have to click on a task itself and then click on the share button. And you can share it via email, Facebook, Twitter, or the bump method.
So now that we've seen the agenda, let's look at things we can fill it with, like courses. So you can search for courses by faculty and then by department. So let's take a look at Econ 101, for example. You're able to get a description of the class, if the class status is open for registry. You can also see at the top, you can scroll through the terms. Um, what term offers which classes when, and for some classes, if an instructor has already been assigned, you can see the instructor as well. You can add this class to your bookmarks by clicking Add to Bookmarks. And under Bookmarks tab, we can see all the classes that we've bookmarked. And under the Histories tab, we can see all the classes that we've added to the history itself, or we've taken a look at. If we go back into my courses, we can search for the actual course itself. So if we type in EAS, we get all the EAS courses that are offered at the U of A. So if we click on EAS 100, we can see that there's actually a lab component here as well that gives you the same exact information. If we go back, you can see the numbers between 1 through 600 on the right side of the screen. You can click on any one of those to quickly lead you to that level of classes rather than having to scroll up and down trying to find Now let's take a look at the rest of the features U of A has to provide. Now if you look at the news, you can see the news feeds from Express News, the Gateway Libraries, and I've actually added in the Edmonton Journal News as well. And you can do that by hitting Edit, add an RRS feed. You can name it something, this one, Edmonton Journal. And we'll add in the RRS feed and it populates. And if you hit add, it'll tell you right now that that newsfeed already exists and you can't add that in because I already have it there. But you can go through the list. Um, there's a refresh button in the top right hand corner that you can click on to refresh everything. You can click on one to see the actual information about the story itself. Um, you can send those and share those with a friend via email, Facebook, or Twitter. And again, you can bookmark those for future reference. So you go into the bookmarks tab, you can see all the stories that you've bookmarked. You go into the histories tab, you can see all the stories that you've gone through and looked at. Now in the events calendar, we can view it by day or by month. So if we take a look at the 17th, we can see celebration of research, information, the time and the date of it. So if we click on the map here, we can actually have it mapped out for us to show us where it's going to happen. And if we click on email, you can actually email them if you would like any other information. At the top, you can also click on this envelope here to share this information via email, Facebook, and Twitter with a friend. Now if you look at the directories, we can go through and search for any person on the U of Alberta. All you have to do is start typing in their name at the top. So for example, if you look for Jonathan Schaefer, hit search and you can find his name comes up. We can go through, we can give him a call if you'd like by clicking on the phone. We can email him or we can map his office on the map itself so we know where he's located on the U of A. We can also hit the star button here to add him to our bookmarks or add him to our contact list. All the information is populated already and all you have to hit is done and he's in our contact list. We can also add him to the bookmarks just in case we want to not add him to the contact list but still have quick access to him. If you want to look at the merchant contacts for each campus. You can see for North Campus, Campus St. Jean, Augustina, and Enterprise Square. And lastly, if you look at student services, you are provided with a list of all registered groups on campus that provide services to students similar to those listed on the U of Alberta homepage. If we click on a specific group to get more information and detailed contact information. So that does it for the tour of the iPhone application for the U of Alberta. For additional information, please click on the i icon in the corner here. I hope you enjoy the tour and look forward to an upgraded version with more features in the near future.